We have now done the hybrid leagues and the hybrid nation SBC. The final one to do is the league and nation hybrid. And this is exactly what we're going to do today. This is made up of four separate squads that you need to put together. And if you haven't done them already, I highly recommend that you complete them because they can give you a lot of money, especially with how we're going to do it in this video. But before I do get into the league and nation hybrid SBC, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. That way you'll be notified the next time I release a video. If you are one of the first to watch that video, it does mean that you'll be one of the first to put one of these trading methods into action to maximize your profits. Getting back into the video, completing the League and Nation Hybrid SBC. There are four separate teams, the Challenger, Advance, Fiendish, and Puzzle Master. If you're looking for a specific team to complete this SBC, and you're not needing all four teams, then I have left time codes in the description down below, as well as you can see that on the YouTube timeline. So this will help you skip through and go to the time in which you want to be at to complete the correct team that you want to complete. To begin with, we have the challenger. The requirements for this is nationalities, exactly two, leagues, exactly three, players from the same nation, max six, players from the same league, max six, player quality, exactly gold, and team chemistry, exactly 100. And on screen right now, you are seeing the team that I put together. And normally what I do is go through each player's bio and show you the price that I've managed to buy them for. Unfortunately, I lost this footage. So you're going to have to take my word for it as I say the price and the name of each player. So to begin with, we have Luigi Sepe, which cost me 500 coins. We then have Danilo de Ambroso, which cost 700 coins. Bastoni, 750 coins. Diegeva, 700 coins. Owen Wijnaldum 500 coins, Antonio Candreva 650 coins, Orsolini cost me absolutely nothing as he was a first owner pack pulled player, Marco Van Ginkel 550 coins, Javaro Dilrison 450 coins, Daniel Malin 850 coins, and Simeon Zaza 500 coins, bringing a grand total for this team to 6,150 coins which is a very good deal considering this is a full gold team and out of it we do go and get a mixed rare players pack. Next up we have the advanced SPC. The requirements for this is nationalities exactly 3, leagues exactly 5, players from the same nation max 5, team overall rating minimum 79 and team chemistry exactly 100. And this is the team that we managed to put together to complete this SPC. In goal, we have Simon Mignolet, 700 coins, Matteo Debushi, 600 coins, Den Donka, 1,100 coins, Thomas Vermeulen, 750 coins, Coat, 900 coins, Romain Hamuma, 650 coins, Dennis Preyer, 900 coins, Yuri Tillemans, 1,200 coins, Andres Iniesta, 1,100 coins, Jonathan Rodriguez, 500 coins, and Adrian Lopez, 600 coins bringing a total for this squad to exactly 9,000 coins, which is slightly on the more expensive side with some of the players that we managed to get. Normally, I try and find players less than 1,000 coins. But there are some players in here that are costing 1,100 and 1,200. The time that I was completing this SBC was not the best time to do it. Some of the players that we're trying to get, I just kept on getting outbidded and eventually I became impatient after spending quite some time on this and I just decided to buy the players instead. We'll also see that when we're going into the other teams. But despite all of this, by completing this team for 9,000 coins, we were able to get a premium gold players pack as a reward, which is definitely worth it. The next squad is Fiendish. For this, the requirements are nationalities, exactly six, leagues, exactly six, players from the same nation, max three, players from the same league, max three, team overall rating, minimum 81, team chemistry, minimum 90. And this is the team that we put together. In net, we have your rich, which costs 500 coins. We then had Lena at 850 coins, Inter at 2,200 coins, Keira, 1,400 coin, Kazawa, 1,000 coins, Sergio Canals, 2,700 coins. Davy Klassen cost me absolutely nothing as we did manage to get him from a pack. Andres Iniesta, 1,100 coins. Quincy Promes, 2,400 coins. Paco Alcacer cost me absolutely nothing as we also managed to get him from a pack. And then we had Tadic at 1,700 coins. As said in the previous squad, I was starting to get impatient. There was a lot of these players that I tried to get really, really good deals on, tried to get them a lot cheaper. 
I was bidding on as many of them as possible, but I just wasn't getting any luck because of the time in which I was trying to do this SBC, which led to some of these players costing a thousand coins and some of them going all the way up to 2,700 coins. It did mean that this team was slightly more expensive and when you're going for it and trying to buy these players, you should be able to get it a little cheaper. But for me, this cost me 13,850 coins with a reward as a mega pack for completing. But now we move on to the final squad. This one is the Puzzle Master. The requirements for this is nationalities exactly 9, leagues exactly 7, players from one club max 3, team overall rating minimum 82, team chemistry minimum 85, number of players in the squad 11. In net we have Strakosha at 2200 coins, Miranda at 1300 coins, Daily Blind at 2100 coins, Jan Vertonghen at 3,900 coins, Willian at 1,900 coins, Conrad Lehmer, 1,300 coins, Kevin Campbell, 1,100 coins, Yannick Carrasco, 1,300 coins, Nicholas Pepe, 900 coins, Yusuf Poulsen, 700 coins, and Thomas Lehmer, 1,500 coins. Considering this is a squad that needed to be a team overall rating of 82. And for how complicated it is, this is actually a very, very good deal, costing 18,200 coins to put this all together. There is one issue with this squad, and you'll probably notice it, is that it doesn't get full chemistry. It works for the SBC in every other area, but because of loyalty, we do need to get five chemistry. And even if you were to go and change each player to be in the correct position with position modifiers, it would still be lacking chemistry. This means unless you already have the players in your club which you've managed to pack or you've managed to play 10 games with these players before, it does mean that you're going to have to get that loyalty and you can only do this by playing the games. There used to be a method where you can go into squad battle matches and just dashboard. This would not even count as a loss on your record but it would count as a match played with every single player that was in that squad. Unfortunately, EA have patched this. You can no longer do this, which means the only other way to get loyalty is by playing all 10 matches, which can take some time, or just going into the matches and forfeiting. This is exactly what I did. So this one, depending if you care about your record or not, could take some time. Personally, I do not care about the record. So for me, it made sense just to forfeit every single match. I recommend you do the exact same thing. But this squad did cost me 18,200 coins and out of it, it was a very good deal because we did get a rare mega pack. And this would be every single one of these SPCs done. Once you add up the price for every single one put together, it will cost you 47,200 coins. But out of it, you will be able to get another reward, which is a foot 21 team of the week kit. And on top of this, you're getting 13,000 coins back. You can get this a lot cheaper though. For a lot of these players, as previously mentioned whilst we were going through the video, I did get a bit impatient and I ended up just using the buy now option. But you can bid. And if you are bidding, make sure you're doing it at a suitable time where you can get these players a lot cheaper. By taking the time to bid, it may take a lot longer, but it does mean that you will be maximizing profits. Because every single one of these squads as well does require you to have gold players, it does make life easier. In previous SBCs where we've had to get bronze and silver players, because bronze and silver packs aren't being opened as often as gold packs, it does mean that those players tend to be a lot rarer on the market. And if they are in demand with the likes of these SBCs, and it does mean that those player prices can easily inflate to something to round 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 or even higher. And because they are so rare, it does make bidding on them even longer because you do need to wait for them to expire. But because every single one of these squads require gold players, you're probably only going to be waiting a couple minutes for each player to expire before you can actually get them and put them within the team. It's not that bad. If you don't want to take the time to bid on every single one of these players, that is perfectly fine. But I do highly recommend you trade with these players. Even though I did get impatient in bidding on them, I did try to trade with some of them. And I did manage to get some really, really good deals in there where I was able to make even more coins. Trading with the same players that you're using for SBCs just gives you that extra layer of security. You're now not dependent on getting a very, very good pack for you to make your money back because you've already made the majority of your coins back by trading with the exact same players that you're submitting for the SBC. So I do highly recommend doing this. And the method that I used was just a simple bulk bid. I found players that had a low buy now, 
took a couple hundred coins away from that and set that as my maximum bid price. And I went through as many cards as possible, bidding on every single one. If I managed to win them, I would only make a couple hundred coins here or there. But my aim here is to get 10, 20 or 30 of those cards so I can make thousands of coins. And I do highly recommend that you do the same thing. But now it's time for me to go through what I managed to get in packs. And out of all the SBCs that I've done, this has probably been my best return. In my packs, I didn't get anything crazy that went over 100k, but we did get some really good deals. As mentioned, the SBC overall cost me 47,200 coins, and we have managed to get 13,000 coins back for completing every single one of these squads, which does mean we only need 34,200 coins to break even. In the first pack that I opened, I did get an 85 rated De Jong from Barcelona, we did go for just above 20,000 coins. Plus, on top of that, we did manage to get some very, very good silver deals in here, which also gave me a couple thousand coins. In the second pack that I opened, I managed to get 78 rated Inform Vlahovic from Fiorentina. This player went for about 29,000 coins, which does mean out of Dijon and also Inform Vlahovic, we did make a profit. And this is only just two players. The other players in the packs didn't go for anything above a thousand coins, but it does still add to our overall profit. A lot of these players were stored in a club, which I'll use for future SBCs, and I did sell some of them off just to give me even more coins for me to trade with. Not to mention that before we even submitted the SBC, we did trade with some of those players, which also gave us an extra couple thousand coins. Overall, this was a very, very good return. And if you follow everything that I did in this video and also follow some of my recommendations, you will easily be able to make profit out of this SBC. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But for now, I'm going to see ya.